human environment interactions the tropical and subtropical regions the tropical regions of the world are lying between the tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn in both the hemispheres look at the map all that pink area that is the tropical region all that pink area lies between the tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn amazon basin it is an important tropical region of the world the amazon basin lies in south america look at the map all that dark green area you know and all that blue you know the blue outline yeah that area is the amazon basin brazil the largest country of south america occupies most of the amazon basin venezuela and colombia lie to the north and northwest of the amazon basin ecuador lies to the west look at the map can you see venezuela and colombia see north and northwest and what's the next one ecuador it lies to the west look at the west and next what's next peru to the southwest look at the southwest can you see peru on the map and atlantic coast to the northeast the latitudinal extent of the amazon basin is 10 degree north and 10 degree south latitudes the amazon basin is the largest river basin in the world drainage system of amazon basin the amazon drains the central part of this basin it is joined by numerous tributaries and has its mouth on the coast of the atlantic ocean near the equator look at the map the dark blue thick line that is the amazon river zingu tocantins negro madeira are the tributaries of amazon river The Amazon River is about 6400 kilometers long and it carries a lot of water and it is 150 kilometers wide. The Amazon River basin covers about 70 lakh square kilometer of area. Ships can enter the river. Second, let's look at the soil. The abundance of organic materials and nutrients in the rainforest area have made the soil rich in humus. The nutrient content of the soil is renewed several times during the year. The leaching affects the soil of Amazon basin on a large scale. What is leaching? It is the loss of nutrients from the soil. the loss of water soluble nutrients the soil found in amazon basin is of low fertility they lack phosphate potash and have high acidic content in the amazon basin the superior quality of soil is found above the flood levels the use of this soil for agricultural purposes is limited because of the torrential rainfall what is torrential rainfall extremely heavy rains climate the equator passes through the northern part of the amazon basin look at the picture all that green area that is the amazon basin and can you see the orange arrow and the red dotted line the red dotted line is the equator and can you see that it is passing through the northern part of the amazon basin the climate is hot and wet the average temperature is about 27 degrees celsius during the day 
both temperature and humidity are very high while at night the temperature comes down but the humidity remains high annual rainfall ranges between 130 to 150 centimeters the Amazon Basin receives heavy rainfall throughout the year. Yes, it rains almost every single day. The days and nights are almost of equal duration throughout the year. What about the natural vegetation in the Amazon? The rainforests are the main vegetation of the Amazon Basin. Amazon rainforests abound with lush green plants. Look at the picture. About two-third of the rainforests lie in Brazil. It is the world's largest tropical rainforest and covers much of the northern South America. The Amazon Basin contains two-thirds of the world's fresh water supply. The trees of these forests have a height of 40 meters and form a thick canopy. It prevents the sunshine from reaching the flow, so the ground remains dark and damp. In the upper canopy, saplings of different plants also grow. Orchids, bromeliads grow as plant parasites. Wild Life A wide variety of wildlife including monkeys, sloth and ant-eating tapirs are found in the Amazon basin. Various species of reptiles and snakes like anaconda, boa constrictor, crocodiles, pythons are found here. Look at the picture of the sloth, the tapirs, the anaconda, boa constrictor, crocodile. More than 1500 species of birds are found in this region. The Amazon River has more than 300 species of fish including the flesh-eating piranha fish. Look at the flesh-eating piranha fish. Two photos, two pictures that I have put there. About three crore types of insects are also found in this region. This basin is rich in biodiversity. These rainforests are called the cradle of biodiversity. Toucans, hummingbirds and birds of paradise are the main birds found in the Amazon basin. What kind of minerals are found in this area? The Amazon basin is rich in many types of minerals. Mineral oil, copper, tin and bauxite are the main minerals found in the different parts of the Amazon basin. Look at the picture. That's copper and next to it can you see a picture of the copper wires? Then the next one is tin. Those two pictures are pictures of tin. Then the other two are bauxite. Agriculture. The people of Amazon basin practice slash and burn agriculture. More than 20,000 square kilometers of agricultural land has been put to use by the Europeans in the Amazon basin. People grow tapioca, pineapple and sweet potato. Manioc is the staple food here. It grows under the ground. Look at the pictures. Tapioca, pineapple, and sweet potato, manioc, cocoa, coffee, and rubber are the cash crops. Big commercial farms, coffee estates, 
and cocoa farms have been established by the Europeans here. And this has happened only in the past few decades. Look at the picture. Can you see the picture of a big commercial farm? And the next one is that of a coffee estate. And can you see coffee beans? Yeah. And the next one, that's a cocoa tree. Look at the cocoa fruit. Population. In the early times, only tribals lived in the area. They have been living in the rainforests for years. They engaged in hunting, killing animals and having the meat, fishing and growing crops on small farms. Usually, the men hunt and fish along the rivers and the women grow crops. They did not practice commercial farming and they did not sell the forest products. They just used it for themselves. Some people live in thatched houses while others make large apartment-like houses for themselves. These houses are called maloka. They have steeply slanting roofs. Look at the picture of a maloka. Can you see the roof? Isn't it steeply slanting roof? Yeah. It is now that life in the Amazon basin has changed dramatically. Many Europeans, especially the Spaniards, have settled there. They drove away the indigenous people. Look at the picture. Those pictures are that of indigenous people. The Spanish people, the Spaniards, they drove them away. In the 1970s, the Trans-Amazon Highway was made. Look at the picture. That is the Trans-Amazon Highway. Huge! And now, people can access all parts of the rainforest easily. Do you know that the developmental activities have gradually destroyed the rainforest? That's right. The commercial farming and deforestation has caused great harm to animal habitats. The lush forest is turning into a barren landscape. Many parts of the former rainforest have been used for the construction of roads, settlements and industrial purposes. So these people, they have almost destroyed the beautiful Amazon rainforest. They've cut down trees, they've built houses and roads and industries. Who is an environmentalist? It is someone who cares about nature, cares about the environment and wants to protect it. And these environmentalists are now protesting over the greed of Europeans. Yes, the Europeans have almost destroyed the Amazon. Many environmentalists have produced documentary evidences that the present global warming is caused mainly because of the deterioration of the Amazon rainforest. That's right. And look at the pictures. Look at their posters and the captions on it. The first one, no Amazon, no future. That's true. And look at the next one. What are they saying? Save the Amazon rainforest. Stop burning. The earth's lungs save the Amazon rainforest.